Number 43. Many decisions are made on the basis of the payback period. The time it will take through savings to equal the capital cost of an investment. Acceptable payback times depend upon the business or philosophy one has. For some industries, the payback period is as small as two years. Okay, great. If energy cost $1 per million joules and the installation was $4 per square meter, then calculate the simple payback time. The average delta T for the 120-day heating season is, is 15 degrees Celsius. All right. You got to review number 41 here uh, in order for this to make any sense. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of run through this. Um, uh, we have this, this heat loss, the heat loss through conduction formula over here. So let's first find the amount or the, uh, total amount of power or actually the total amount of energy. So we're going to do Q over T is equal to K A K whoops, A, uh, multiplied by then the Delta T basically all over then the thickness of the insulation. I'm going to cross multiply the T on over to the other side so that I can get an equation here that just solves for the heat energy. All right, so basically this is the total amount of time. They told us it was 120 days, so we'll probably have to convert that into seconds. So here we're going to have now the uh, K value of glass wool. That was the insulation point 042 multiplied by the total area. I'm going to take the base case because I wound up finding how much in percent savings there was. So I'm just going to pretend that we didn't put anything, put uh, add any insulation. Let's see what our uh, base case was before adding the insulation. So that's 300 square meters. The change in temperature they told us was 15 degrees Celsius. Great. The time is 120 days, but we got to need that in seconds. So we got to take 120 uh, day, multiply then by, right, day, multiply then by 24 hours in a day. And then finally getting rid of hours. Uh, one hour is then 3,600 seconds. Okay. And then all dividing that whole thing now, everything by the thickness of 0.15 meters, that was the thickness of the insulation. What do we get? So we get 0 .0, uh, 0 0.042 times in 300, times in uh, 15, times in 120, times 24, times 3600, all done divided by 0.15. And, uh, sorry, hold on. Divide that by 0.15. And we get about 1.3, 1.3, 306 or so times 10 to the 10th and that's in joules now they tell us now uh per uh per a uh, one dollar per million joules right so basically now what i can do is do a simple conversion i can say that it's it's going to be one dollar uh per one million joules and then basically if you look at the cross you know the dimensional analysis here just multiply that then by this amount of joules that were used and notice how the joules will cancel leaving us with dollars all right so just divide that by then 1 million I guess I don't really need a calculator for this but I'm just double checking so this is going to be just subtract I mean yeah <laughs> um, just subtract six from this basically right so it's going to be then uh, 1.3 I'm just going to round uh, 06. I'll just keep it the same times 10 to the uh, fourth. All right. And that is now in dollars, right? AKA $13,000. Dollars. All right. And uh, that's how much it's going to cost. So this is about 13, 13,060, uh, right? $60. It tells us then that it's $4 per square meter. We realized that we had to insulate the attic space. So this is basically uh, going to be 150 square meters. And if this is the total square area and this is the amount per square meter, right, then you just multiply the two together. So that works out to be $600, $600 for insulation. All right. And now basically... Uh, it wants to now have us calculate the payback time, right? So how much are we saving? Well, we're saving 21% of our original utility bill as we, as we found uh, before. So that means that we can take $13,060 and multiply it by one minus the uh, 0 0.21, okay? So it's 13 that times then... 1 minus 0.21. And here we get now, well, the actual, well, I should have found the savings. That's silly. I found the amount that we actually pay, but really, I realize I want to calculate the number. Just multiply that by the percent savings of 0.21. All 
All right, so we'll take that answer multiplied by 0.21, and we're going to save about 2,000. So we're going to save about 2,743 dollars per year, right? This is per year. And so now basically we can find the uh, payback time, right? I mean, if we know we had to lay out $600 for the insulation and that this is the amount that we're saving per year, then all I would do is take the amount of it, the insulation, and then divide it by the amount of savings per year, right? This is 2,743. Basically the years would come on up to the top and we would get then our uh, payback period. So it's gonna be 600 divided by 2,743. And it'd be about, yeah, really not much at all, right? about a quarter of a year or 0 0.22 or so, 22, 0.22 years. So that's that. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.